Um, Relia? Is there, uh, anything with which you need help? I'm watching. What? Oh, I'm watching you. <laughs> uh, someone help me. What is it, Relia? Oh, I'm just watching you. It's good to make observations. Discover anything while watching me? Hmm, you're dressed funny. Can't say that didn't hurt. You've been staring at me for some time now. May I ask why? That'd be because you're cute, Anne. <gasps> you... you think so? Oh, I'm not talking about your looks. I'm talking about how you can wear your clothes backwards and still pull it off. What? <laughs> Got you. What's actually cute is the way you take jokes like that seriously. <sighs> I'm such a gullible fool. Hey, Squirt. What's up? Oh, I'm watching you. You're watching me, are you? Eesh, it's so tough being a handsome man. So, did you find anything out from watching me? I found that you're smirking. Sorry for being such a goofball. Having a hands-off superior has its problems, huh? <sighs> What's the matter? I'm sorry. It's just that you reminded me of my own mentor. He prioritized his research over me and went off somewhere. That must have been rough. I still miss him. You're cute, Relia. I knew lizards were cute, but I had no idea kids could be even cuter. Lizards? I'll pick out a nice outfit for you sometime. One similar to what I'm wearing. No thanks. So you're quite the cook, I hear. Treasure that skill. You at least cook sometimes, don't you, Emerson? Well, no. I mean, the cook always makes my food, so... Cooking for yourself is fun once you get used to it, you know? Why not ask Anne to teach you? She just turned the lesson into an experiment. You're not just good at cooking, but doing the laundry, too? You'll be a fine homemaker someday. Thanks, but just because I like doing chores doesn't mean I'm good at them. Well, then. Let me tell you the best dish, hands down, to win any man's heart. Meat and potatoes. I can make that easy. Except, no one ever compliments me when I do. What? That can't be the case. They say they want portions like foothills and meat that has juices running from it like a river. Ah, that makes sense. Young people and their appetites. You have such a unique sense of fashion, Fiore. Really? Oh, I guess it's not as common here in Rasuli as it is in Langdok. Is that what everyone's currently wearing there? I'm trying to remember. Something's been bothering me to no end. What is it? I tried washing my clothes by hand just the way Mickey does, but my white clothes always turn color. Do you think maybe there's some kind of signaturgical or perhaps even metaphysical phenomenon that causes this chromatic intermingling? Mickey! doesn't even know about colors bleeding in the wash. Can you teach her how to wash clothes? The sea is full of strange creatures. Did you know that? Creatures in the sea? Indeed. There are giant fish that spray water from their backs. Animals like transparent balloons, beasts with as many as eight legs, and even birds that walk on two legs while on land but swim while in water. That's really neat. The world is full of places like I'm sure you'll get a chance to see them for yourself someday, kiddo. Do you like cats, Aurelia? Yes, I do. I've seen them before. They're cute. There's nothing in the world cuter than a cat. You're cute too, Anne. Uh, I should never have dropped my guard. Are you thirsty? I could really use a quick break to get some tea. I am. I could empty a mug of iced tea in one swig right now. What? You actually drink your tea cold? But doesn't that make it extremely bitter? Everyone drinks tea that way in Langok. It's a little bitter, but also refreshing. Especially in the summer. Hmm. I would think drinking cold tea would give you a tummy ache. I guess not. <laughs> no. Not unless you drink too much of it. Hey, what do you most want in the world right now? I guess, uh, 
land. What? Land? Uh, are you serious? He told me, if anyone ever asks what you want, say land. Who told you... <sighs> Never mind. I know who it was. If he does something like this again, I'll make him eat Anne's cooking. Hmm. I wonder if this wild herb is edible. That plant I tried the other day was too bitter to make it past the first bite. But the one before that was surprisingly delicious. You're not gonna be any help, Fiddly. As long as I mix it in without you noticing, you'll scarf down anything that isn't fish. When did you first start studying signaturgy? Hmm, it's been so long I forget. At least since I was a kid. For me as well. Well, we might have more in common than I thought. Except for when it comes to our views on love. I'm going to plead the fifth on that. It was a long time ago, but I used to have some pets, you know. I remember their names were Spot and Mimi. They were cats, right? Lizards. <gasps> Lizards? At first I had two, but one day I forgot to close their cage and one of them ran for it. And you never heard from it again? Do you like flowers, really? I do. Flowers aren't just pretty plants, you know. You can gather ones of the same type together using them to make a dye. Or you can drink juice made from their fruits. Or even make medicine from them that cools fevers. Wow. You know everything, Nikki. It's called family medicine. I learned it from my teacher, Dr. Malir. It's very fashionable in the village of Spall right now. Yeah, that's not what fashionable means. <sighs> what nice weather. Laundry always dries so fast on beautiful days like this. Come to think of it, I haven't had a chance to actually do a proper load of laundry on the road. I want to bury my face like this in a blanket that's just been dried in the sun. Now I want to do the laundry. Really? There may be some horrible and terrifying things lying in wait for you on this journey. But please, keep this in mind. You are surrounded by people who are on your side. You will never be alone. When times get tough, stay strong and don't give up. Huh? It may be hard to understand, but you don't have to right now. Until the day comes when you do, though, keep a smile on your face. Okay, I will. Thanks, Emerson. Relia, do you know what your biggest enemy in all the world is? Let me tell you. This life form will put its hand to its lips, tilt its head to one side, affect an innocent love, and say, I don't know. <laughs> I'm talking about other girls. You can't let your guard down, Relia. The battle has already begun. Yeah, I know. Uh... Where are those signets of yours, Missy? Oh, I see. You don't believe me, huh? I've got them on my back. Speaking from a purely academic standpoint, and with only the most noble and rational of intentions, certain people want to know more about them. <laughs> nice try. So, have I ever told you about the pets I had back in the day? No, you haven't. What kind of pets were they? They were lizards. I was raising them for research purposes and grew attached to them. Whoa! Lizards, Th that's unusual. For my next pet, I think I'll get a bigger animal. A bigger animal? So, do you mean like an alligator? <laughs> no, that'd be smaller. <laughs> No, nope, that's not it. What song is that? It's a song that used to be popular long ago. Don't you know it? <laughs> no, that's not it. Oh, I wish I could remember how it went. You like talking about love quite a bit, don't you? Well, living organisms endeavor to beget progeny until the day they die. Unlike other animals, though, we don't do so instinctually. Why do you think that is? That's a rather sophisticated question. Human behavior is a complex and fascinating thing. It may not rival signaturgy, but I still think it's a fun topic to research. You have such a different perspective from me on this issue. When one of the pets I raised at the Institute died, I was overcome with sadness. I'm sorry to hear that. How to die in old age. It mistook a man for food and ended up choking on him. How do you not feel bad for the guy who got eaten? 
Um... Hey, Relia? What? Never mind. <sighs> um... Uh, Relia? What is it? Uh, never mind. Nice fashion sense. Everything you wear is always so sexy. You like my outfit so much you want to try it on? What? Uh, no. I'm good. Just forget I met you. You want to wear something skimpy, huh? No problem. I have one in exactly your size. I'm fine. Some kind of accent around your neck would be ideal, but I don't think we need it. I'm sorry. Please, just... just give it a rest. Oh, have you tried Rasulia's fruit wine? It's tasty, isn't it? You sound like a man who can really hold his liquor. Oh, I definitely can. So how'd you like to go for a drink with me, pretty lady? As long as you're paying, and you know that your wallet will be much lighter afterwards. Just don't empty it. You're not interested in anything but signets, are you? Signets are number one on my list, but they're not the only thing I care about. With your talent, you could master all kinds of subjects. Just think about it. Are you complimenting me or recruiting me? I figured you might be interested, seeing as how you're such an inquisitive person. <laughs> I'm intrigued. I'll give it some thought, sure. Please do. I promise you, I can show you a bigger and better world than you could imagine. Are you thirsty?